Hi guys, this is William and welcome to video 7.2 where we'll be looking at using conditions a bit more extensively. Uh, we've got a key object, our character is going to pick it up. We're going to use that key object on the door and the door will open. So what that means is that our door will be in one of two states. It's either going to be closed or it's going to be opened. Right? And it's very good practice that if an object can exist in two states to create two separate objects. So one object for each, each state. Door open and door closed object. So right now we've got one door object. And I'm going to rename this door closed. And we're going to duplicate this object by right clicking and saying duplicate. And then I'm going to rename this object to open. Now keep in mind we don't have to set our object uh, uh, boundaries um, because we, we copied it. So that's one advantage of that. So we will now need a graphic for our door open. Remember the door closed does not have a graphic because it's part of the background but our door open will have a graphic because it'll be above our background and it'll create the illusion that the door is open. So to do that make sure door open is selected click on your um, the little image icon button and go to the item background images door open. So this will then appear on screen and we need to move it in place. Click there, move icon and then just line it up. Now keep in mind you can zoom in right, and you can use this preview settings just to align it up properly like we've covered in previous videos. Okay, that looks pretty good. Yeah. Right. So now let's play our scene. And you can see the graphic already shows. There's a bit of an issue with the alignment here with the, the draw order, but we'll fix that later. But firstly, you can see that the, the door is showing which we do not want, right? Because it's not open yet. So let's create a new condition to keep track of that. Okay. I am going to click on my door open object and I'm going to go to conditions and create a door is, is open condition, which I'll set to false. Now we'll set the evaluating condition for this to that, um, condition we created. Okay, so door is open is false in the background. This uh, keeps track of whether the object is active or whether it's alive in the scene. Door is, uh, is open is false as you can see here. So it means that this graphic will not be displayed. Okay, we can look at it. Perfect. It doesn't show because the door is not open. Okay, so this object should not be active. So now let's quickly remove all the the actions already entered here because remember we copied from this object which had a bunch of interactions here but we don't want that here so I'm just going to remove all of these my door open object so it's empty. Okay so what do we want to have happen? We want our character to walk towards the key, pick it up, it's added to our inventory and then he drops it on the door. Now look what happens here. Door closed, actions, use use key with door, key dropped on door. So at this point we want to change that condition we created. Door is open to true because we have the key, we are dropping it on the door which means the, the door is now open. Okay and that's what we do here. We create we uh, add a new action part and say change condition and we say door is open and we set that to true. So what's going to happen now? When this is true suddenly this object door open will not be false anymore and it'll become alive in the scene. It'll be ah okay so 
this should be active now and then it, the door open will display. So let's play our scene and let's take a look if that happens. Okay, so the door is closed, right? We don't see the door is, is opened yet because the condition door is open is false. Okay, it's false here. So I'm going to go and I'm gonna go pick up my key. It's added to my inventory. I'm going to use my key. Let me just line this up a bit. I'm gonna use my key. Look at the lines here at the top. Use key with door. And now as soon as I do that, the condition door is open is changed from false to true, and our door object becomes a, a active. Okay? So now this is active. Okay, great. Uh, now we also see that there's a bit of an issue here with the alignment. Okay, so and that's got to do with the object center. So first I'm just going to click door closed and just set the object center because remember we covered this in previous videos. Uh, what is the everything above the dotted line uh, and everything below the dotted line and how will that be drawn in relation to our character? Okay, so everything below will uh, be drawn at the back. Everything, uh, if the character is here, it'll be drawn in the front. And we'll do the same for our door is open. And then I'll also just sort the object by the object center. Okay, very important. Let's see if it works now. Yes, looks good. Okay. There's one more thing we need to cover. Right now, we have two objects in our scene that are active and they overlap. Because remember, when we activated the door open, we didn't deactivate the door closed uh, hotspot. Okay, So both are there and they exist in the same space. To prevent issues, it's important that you deactivate the door closed then. Okay, And you, the way you do that, very simply, you go to the evaluating condition and you select door is open. But you tick negate condition because you want this to be deactivated when this condition is true. Okay? So, um, if, if it's false, then it's active. If it's true, then it's not active. Okay? So, let's run my scene and see if everything works fine. Perfect. And that is it. Right, guys. See you in the next video.